and good evening there at home by your fireside. You are looking at one pooped pea picker. <laughs> you've heard me say you look, you, you, you look so tired, you look like you've been road hard and put away wet. You, you, you... <laughs> me. I'm going to sit down and tell you why. Betty, my lovely wife, went out of town for three days this week and left me in charge of the boys and the house. <laughs> and the dog. And the... <laughs> I would like to say right now that my dust cap is off to you housewives. <laughs> Bless you. I never realized what you went through with. Look at my nails. <laughs> terrible. Mess. Frostbite from opening frozen food. <laughs> and see my mustache? You can't see it now. Singed it three times, peeking into the oven to see if the roast was thawed out yet. <laughs> And there's a big bruise on my chin. You can't see it now. That's from, I thought I'd be a good feller and mix a cake for the boys. I got my tie caught in the blender. <laughs> well, you know, the toughest part about keeping the house, though, is not that the end of it. It's answering the pea-picking doorbell. <laughs> now, I'd no sooner got my morning housework done and settle down on my couch with my sincere confession magazine, <laughs> my box of chocolates, and my application for queen for a day. <laughs> when the bell would ring. Now, first, there was a nice little old lady. She was selling beauty preparation. I told her I didn't want any. But the hard luck story she gave me really got to me. Now, her older brother had just fallen down a storm drain. She needed car fare to go down to the beach and meet him. I figured I'd take him there. Of course, now, of course, I... I I didn't believe the story, but it was so original, I signed up for a six-month supply of mud pack. <laughs> well, now, that was my big mistake. You see, when she left, she must have put a chalk mark on the door because in 10 seconds, there was the bell again. This time, it was kind of a little mouse-faced feller selling silverfish bombs. <laughs> Which, when I slammed the door on him, he demonstrated through the keyhole. <laughs> Five seconds later, there's another feller at the door. He was selling spot remover for silverfish bomb stain. <laughs> that I bought. <laughs> then there was a bagless vacuum cleaner salesman. <laughs> and another fella with re that, that would refuzz the nap on your suede shoes. <laughs> A woman with a sure cure for crabgrass. <laughs> and then there was another dude. Now, he was the best. I opened the door, and the first thing he said was, What is this address? I said, 1447 Possum Trot Road. <laughs> he said, You're absolutely right. You've just won 20% discount. <laughs> I said, 20% discount? He said, Correct again, and for getting the amount right, we'll take off another 10%. <laughs> I said, now look. And he said, look, that's today's secret word. <laughs> and now you got 40% discount. <laughs> well, I began to swell up a little. Well, we went around like that for a little bit, and before I gave him a deposit, I had 80% off. <laughs> How about that? 80% off. I hope he sends it to me soon, because I sure am anxious to find out what he was selling. 